Capricorn, and welcome to your weekly reading for March 30th through April the 6th. The energy has definitely shifted and is way more positive this week. Your rune is the Laguz rune, the rune of flow and healing and creativity and productiveness intuitive knowledge so very interesting it also speaks about invisible forces are at work so that was very interesting you got desert rose that's awesome all things are possible go for your dreams without restraint affirms your life purpose we have tree agate which brings inner peace, calms nerves, clears blockages, connects us with nature, and helps us to focus on the oneness of all living beings. We are all one. We are all connected. And then we have selenite, which interestingly enough had not come up for oh gosh, a couple of months in the readings, and today it showed up time after time. So that's a direct message from Spirit. It brings clarity of mind, expanded awareness, soothes nerves, protects and clears the aura, and seals in positive energy. And that is our job this week we need to turn the tide from negativity back to positivity it will make a difference in the outcome of all of this not only for you and people you care about but for all living beings Okay, it never does anyone any good to be negative. Don't go down the rabbit hole. The more positive that you are during this time may shape the outcome of what happens as we come out of this. Okay, there we go. And our stone people card. Okay, there we go. Let's see what your cards have to say. You got the West Shield, introspection and goals. And you got the shawl talking about returning home, not to your house, but to who you truly are. So this is a great time to do some introspection and look at your goals. What are you, you know, you going to do coming out of this? How can you change your life for the better? What are your goals coming out of this? We got the Druid who says, hold the space that you are in right now. And, oh, we got the lady. Yay. Enjoy growth and reap the rewards. Enjoy the growth that you are having right now as you look at your goals, as you look at the future, as you return to your true self. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Look what you got. Nothing will come of this situation. Yay. And then you also go, got what do you need to release? Did you go down the rabbit hole? Did you get negative and scared and panicky? What do you need to release? Probably some of your fears. And that's what all of us are dealing with right now. Oh, you got giraffe spirit. See the big picture. Look outside of what, just how this is affecting you, 
or maybe your community, take that and go way bigger. How is this affecting the entire world? What opportunities may come of this? How can you use those opportunities? Rhino Spirit reminds you that you can overcome any obstacle. You have the strength. You already have what you need to overcome this. But what are you going to do with this opportunity? Your stone people card. Oh, is Eagle Medicine. Very interesting. Because it is saying the same thing as Giraffe. Look at the bigger picture. Look at this whole thing from a higher perspective. The eagle eye view. Take that time, that introspection, and really examine what this could mean for you. And in a positive way, okay? What changes can you make in your life that are positive? What new dreams, opportunities may come out of this? Really start thinking about what you can do once they lift this stay-at-home thing. How is the world changing around you? What is going to be needed the most? You know, um, there's going to be opportunities. So we have our desert rose where everything, all things are possible and to go for your dreams without restraint. I'm going to put that on rhino spirit where it says overcome any obstacle then we have tree agate which is about inner peace and calming your nerves connecting with nature let's see i think we're going to put that one on the giraffe spirit and the eagle see the big picture uh, we have our rune of flow, intuitive knowledge, creativity. I'm putting that one on uh, your introspection and goals. Do not hold your back, yourself back. Try and find all the opportunities that will be coming. Then we have our selenite, clarity of mind and expanding your awareness. And I'm going to put that on the shawl, returning home. Return to your true self. Sorry about all the noise. Okay, and then we're going to do your quote for this week. Okay, your quote is, confidence is silent. Insecurity is loud. I think that's very interesting. All these people that are going on and on and negative, negative, negative. Those are the insecure ones. Confidence is silent. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.